green leaves. I'm Winter and this is Super Flat Adventures. I've actually been sitting here for a minute uh, setting up the uh, the recording, checking the settings and everything and I can't help but notice a certain lack of skeletons here. There are no skeletons dropping from this and I was pretty sure it was, this was supposed to be ready for... oh! What happened? I mean, this was supposed to be ready for me to just sit at the spawner and the BAFK, so uh, uh, something went wrong. I need to check on that. Uh, did I leave a block? Oh, oh. Did I leave a block here? No, I didn't. There's no skeleton. Oh, I, I think there's a torch there. Also, crap. No. Darn. Skele skeleton in water. Awful. <laughs> Help. <laughs> Yeah, there is a torch there, so not when a skeleton is respawning. Right there! Just on top of this. Okay, leave. Oh, wait, there is another thing there that needs to be removed. Yeah, this was not ready at all. But yeah, uh, the plan for today. Oh, this is. It needs to be closed. The plan for today was for me to just sit at the spawner for, say, 20 minutes or however long uh, it needs to be and uh, record uh, everything but then just speed it all up and just make a very 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 quick montage it's like 10 seconds long or something and then record the episode the actual episode from that moment onward but uh, i have stuff to talk about nom 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 and it's uh, stuff that i kind of need to focus on so it's going to be a talky episode where nothing actually happens on camera and I'm just going to be talking so if you want to look somewhere else as uh, uh, I don't know, do something else in a different tab of your web browser or whatever and just listen, that's going to be a very calm episode I can't help but notice a certain lack of skeletons I am activating the spawner I hear the skeletons. You hear the skeleton? What is going on here? Are you guys getting stuck here? Is there a skelly? No, there isn't. Are you getting stuck? No, they're going upward. I am made... There, there is some sort of flaw in the design that I need to fix before... Before... Talking. Uh, it's really black, I can't tell. This is... I didn't remember moving this thing. Is it possible the skeletons are like falling in the wrong... Uh, no? I am confused, they messed up somewhere. Uh, let's go outside and take a look. I guess <laughs> I'll have to wait before I can talk. Oh, oh, hello, mister. Did I look at someone? No, I didn't. Did I? This block is not supposed to be here. Oh, oh. Oh, they're stuck here. I, I guess there is a block where. Oh, I'm out of wool. There's a block where there aren't. where there isn't supposed to be one. Give me a block of wool. Thanks. Alright. Let's fix this. Oh, it's right here! It's right here! Okay. Get ready, this is going to be nice. Boop! <laughs> nice! <laughs> I don't know why I enjoyed that so much, but I did. How much food do I have? Not a lot. Uh, hey, whatever, I am not going to pick it up now. I'll pick it up later. Still, I do want the crafting table just for safety, because there's still something I haven't done, which is get wool, but uh, after that... <laughs> here, one, two, I only need three. After getting these three, I mentioned I wouldn't want to die ever in my, in my Super Flat Adventures series. But this is not another cool world, and if anything goes wrong, I would still like to not have to... Oh, darn. To walk... Uh, 
all the way from spawn to wherever I am at that moment. So here we are. Okay, now that this this, this has been dealt with, I can just go here. Did I leave this open? No, I didn't. Okay. Hello. You guys are still alive because you dropped from not uh, high up, been up in the air, so I need to punch you. But everybody else to just uh, fall and die immediately. Oh, and that's my block of wool. Projector protection too. Neat. So. Oh, this is nice. Nom 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 nom. And nom 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 nom. One more nom 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 First, the fundraiser. It needs an update. And the update is... Whoa! I just the update. I don't have words. Just to express how surprised and happy and surprised I am at how that went. That is just insane. That's... I'm making the, the gesture of my mind blowing. <laughs> you have been really, really kind, and uh, this went uh, way better than I would have ever expected, way faster than I thought it would take. That's just... Uh, thank you. <laughs> thank you really much. I'm going to... Uh, it's going to take a while for the... The money to go from the PayPal account to my bank account before I can actually go and buy the graphics card. So it may take a week, then, then depending on the, how long it takes me to actually make the journey to wherever I need to go, that may take another week. So I, I can't really give an estimated time on when uh, the frame rate here is going to get uh, much better <laughs> thanks to you guys, but it's going to happen as soon as I can afford to. As for the I told money raised, that is, again, way more than I expected, way more than I need for a, gra for a good graphics card, uh, which means that uh, I am also going to just fix uh, another thing that, I'm, that its computer is missing, that is the RAM, because uh, I have 4 gigabytes and this computer could definitely use a total of 8, and the... <laughs> I, <laughs> you have allowed me to afford uh, a graphics card that is really good, plus uh, the, the, the RAM that is needed, and, and, and whatever else, if something is going to explode down there, I can fix it immediately. <laughs> ah, thank you. All of that money, whatever happens, wh however much is raised, it's all, it's all going to go towards improving my current uh, computer so that I can make better videos faster easier and everything else so I, I won't use it to buy myself a new shopping bag or whatever and I'm going to leave the fundraiser open because why not <laughs> but yeah that's the, the goal has definitely been reached way just that thank you uh, I wanted to address that. I want to thank you and thank you and thank you once again. And I also wanted to talk about something else. Uh, entirely unrelated. <laughs> but I'm not sure if I'm spawning lots of things by standing here. Maybe I should be more like here and place this here. Because I think... Nah, this is good. We've been doing this for like only three minutes. Um... Uh, Something happened to me in the past uh, couple of days and while I'm not going to discuss what specifically happened, at least not now, I would like to discuss what I have been thinking about because of it. So, I'll start with an example and a tiny bit of a... I don't know if this counts as personal story, <laughs> but it, it, it gets there. I have two dogs. One of those two dogs, the, the, the female, the female dog, uh, once lost her way and uh, she cannot come back home, she got lost and uh, she was away from home for approximately three months. 
we had pretty much lost all hope of finding her when we actually did find her. And she was alright, she wasn't hurt, she was just a tiny... She, she just needed a whole bunch of food and love, but... Uh, um, and she did come back home with uh, a couple of extra phobias that she didn't have before, but all in all, all is well what ends well, and she got back home and uh, it's all... it's good. It was a very <laughs> scary experience, this happened uh, uh, five years ago now, four? And it's all been well since then. One thing that this experience brought to her that was positive was that uh, she learned, and we could definitely see it uh, after she ca she came back home. She learned something from that. She learned just how difficult it is for a dog like her to be out there in the outside world alone to have and have to hunt for food on her own. Uh, defend herself from bigger dogs, m mean humans, and whatever else she went through. She learned that. She understood that. She had this experience, and it was a negative experience. It was a bad one, something I wish had uh, never happened to her. But still, she learned something out of it. And we could tell her. Uh, we we could tell that she learned something because she got much more affectionate uh, ever since she she came back. She she missed us just like we missed her, and she knows now just how different uh, it would be for her to be alone, uh, to not have food given to her every day by us, to not to be protected by dangers of the outside world. She learned something out of this, uh, and that's something that my other dog, uh, the male, the male dog, the one that who did not go through an experience like this, that's something he will never quite uh, grasp. And again, I can tell that he has no clue. <laughs> it, I love both of my dogs, and uh, they both love me as their owner, but. The female dog has just that something else, that something more. She has that tiny bit of knowledge, she has an experience behind her that uh, has showed her um, things from a new perspective that he, the male dog, can't even start to imagine. I want to use this as an example. To just talk about it. Humans are different. Uh, humans have something more. Humans have this thing that is words, that is speech, that is languages, that is being able to communicate in a very clear and detailed way. We have uh, this way to communicate uh, that uh, as far as we know for now, uh, no other creature has. We can talk. And by communicating, we are capable of sharing things between each other. So, like right now, I am telling you things and you're listening to me. Or you may read a book, you may watch a movie and... Uh, the, it's still a form of communication. Through words, through stories, whether fictional or not, we go through experiences and we learn something out of these experiences. Now, this is the part where I want to get uh, at. Uh, let's assume I tell you, hey, don't put your hand on in inside of that pot full of boiling water because you're going to burn your skin, it's going to be really painful and stuff, and you're going to be like, oh, okay, I will not do that. Uh, any 
animals don't have that. Uh, animals can only learn through personal experience. So a, a cat may try to put uh, his paw in, a <laughs> in the boiling water and realize, oh wow, that is really hot. And then the cat will never do it again because the cat learned uh, that it's a painful experience, it's something negative, something that uh, he will avoid doing from this moment onward. We as humans are capable of sharing experience uh, through words so that you can learn things without having necessarily gone through a specific experience yourself. This allows us to avoid getting hurt, to avoid bad things just by knowing beforehand that they're bad things. Like, back to the example of my two dogs, if my female dog could talk the same way we humans talk to my male dog and say, Hey, this thing happened to me. I was away from our house for a very long time and I had to hunt for food for myself. I had to protect myself from dangers I didn't even know existed. It was cold. I didn't have shelter. Uh, and I hadn't realized up until that moment, I had never realized, did a skeleton just survive? Yes, in gold armor. I never realized just how easy our life is and just how lucky we are to have owners and not to be wild dogs. And then at that point my male dog... Ooh, nice, what, what is this? Protection 3, I'll put it here. At that point the male dog could be like... Uh, oh hey, I never... I never uh, thought of this before. Now I can appreciate my life even more because I know how lucky I am to have owners who love me. Or my dog could instead be like, oh, whatever, yeah, haha, now I don't believe you and just go on with, with his life the same way he always says. But you get the point. Uh, I, I'm going to change the subject just a tiny bit, 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 bit <laughs> but you will see uh, the connection real soon. There is a saying that you have most definitely heard of. Uh, uh, and the saying says, the saying says, <laughs> that you do not realize the value of things you have until the moment you lose them. You do not realize how precious things you have are until you don't have them anymore and you realize just how much you miss them. This is what happened to my female dog. This is what happened when she got lost and could not come back home. She realized how important we were and her house was to her. She only realized it because she happened to lose this, these things for a short period of time. She still lost them, she still was without them. And so she realized the importance of these things. Again, as humans, we don't need to lose things before realizing how important these things are to us because I can tell you and all the people will tell you and you will be reminded very often in your life uh, even if you don't lose anything ever <laughs> for <laughs> because you're the luckiest person alive or something even though you will be constantly reminded of this concept so I recently lost something important let's not get into details but something bad happened and uh, right after that happened uh, I had the usual thoughts everybody has in this kind of situation that is um, having a whole bunch of regrets being like oh wow I wish before this had happened I wish I had spent more time doing this I wish I had done more for this and uh, stuff like like this uh, and it was sad and heartbreaking and everything, but this happened to me and I want to take this chance to remind you guys because I had just an experience that I want to share this experience through words so that you can learn something or better be reminded of something without you having to go personally through the same experience. That is, take, take, take a day today, tomorrow to do something for, let, let's say, go visit that relative of yours that you haven't seen in a long time. 
go take a walk in that place where you haven't been for a while. Uh, say a nice word to your neighbors. Just imagine you. I, I want you to. You, you have a chance right now to do these things, and you don't know what may happen tomorrow or the day after to any of the things you have. Uh, or any of the people who are close to you. The, oh, life is weird like that. So I, I wish I wish you take this chance right now. I wish to remind you that you're a lucky person. It doesn't matter what you're going through in your life right now. You have things that uh, other people more unlucky than you do not have. You have uh, a roof above your head. You, I hope... <laughs> <laughs> have uh, at least one warm meal every day. Uh, things I don't have, for example, are uh, <laughs> uh, running water that I can drink uh, or hot water to take a shower in. <laughs> You're a very lucky person. And you don't need to lose all the things you have right now to realize that. You can just be reminded of this by me, by whoever else. You know that there is people in the world who have it much more rough than you right now so you should just value the things you have right now and don't focus on the negative things just for today just for this couple of days as you have is just just because i have reminded you to not take anything for granted and just enjoy your life a tiny bit more okay so <laughs> It's what I wanted to talk about. I was kind of hoping to get three stacks of arrows. Nah, I think this can do. So, next time we're going to leave our base. But I'll make re preparations for this uh, in next episode. So, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed yourself. And I will see you in the next episode of Superfold Adventures.